Good morning. We bring to you the very latest here at home and across the globe. This is ITN News. I'm Bhakti Abe Surya. Let's take a look at the headlines first. The number of corona cases has increased up to 10 at present. The president responds to the appeal made by the Indian leader to have a common strategy to tackle COVID-19. Tomorrow will be a public holiday. O-level exam results will be released at the end of this month as scheduled. In news from overseas, COVID-19 confirmed cases outside China increases from 7,488 to 51,767 within 24 hours. Now for the news in detail. First up in local news, the number of corona cases has increased up to 10 at present. Two more coronavirus positive cases have been identified yesterday in Sri Lanka. Accordingly, new cases have been identified yesterday. Director General of Health Services says two patients contracted with the virus were identified last evening. One of them is a 56-year-old woman who had returned from Italy last week. The other is a 17-year-old girl who is identified as a relative of a patient who was previously confirmed to be infected with the virus. Meanwhile, 265 persons returned from Italy, South Korea and Iran have been sent to the quarantine centre located at Pompeii Madu Army Camp in Vaunia yesterday. Many religious leaders appeal to the public to extend their fullest support to the program launched by the government to control the spreading of the virus. Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit, has requested all churches to refrain from conducting Sunday and other masses till the end of March. Cardinal Ranjit stated this addressing a special media briefing at the Catholic Archbishop's house yesterday. Kurakal, Babu Sharma and Kalambo Maulavi Irshad also appealed to their devotees to follow guidelines given by the health authorities and do their religious activities at home without gathering to Hindu temples and mosques. President Gotabe Rajapaksha has responded to the statement made by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi that the leadership in the South Asian nations should come together in order to discuss common strategies to tackle COVID-19. In a Twitter message, President Gotabe Rajapaksha noted that Sri Lanka is ready to join the discussion and share its learnings, best practices and to learn from others. The President further requested to unite in solidarity during these tiring times to keep the citizens safe. Prime Minister Modi had proposed to the leaders of the SARC countries should discuss a joint strategy via video conferencing to fight the coronavirus. Leaders of several SARC nations have already endorsed Prime Minister Modi's proposal, promoting their complete support towards the collective effort against the pandemic. The Department of Government Information said that tomorrow will be declared a public mercantile and bank holiday. Minister of Public Administration Janaka Bandara Tenakon has announced that tomorrow will be declared a public holiday. It is reported that this decision was taken to prevent the outbreak of the coronavirus in the country. Commissioner General of Examination Sanat Pujita has refuted claims that the 2019 ordinary level examination results will be released early. When inquired regarding the posts circulating on social media, the Commissioner General said the results will be released at the end of the month as scheduled. Meanwhile, external examinations of the University of Kalania, scheduled to be held from today onwards, have already been postponed until further notice. Finally, in local news, Sri Lanka limits provision of consular services in 11 overseas missions. The decision has been taken to limit the spread of the virus among Sri Lanka who visits the Sri Lankan mission overseas. This decision is effective until further notice. These countries include Italy, Iran, South Korea, France, Spain, Germany, Switzerland, Denmark, the Netherlands, Sweden and Austria. This decision has been taken in view of the strict restrictive procedures of travel bans and lockdown measures taken by the respective authorities of the countries concerned and also the recent travel ban imposed by the government of Sri Lanka on all travel originating from these countries.